Hello, this is Elizabeth Claire Brewington. I am the anchor host for our African American and Black broadcast. Uh, this morning, we had a fabulous session where we had some autobiographies with um, former military, our favorites, veterans who produced their book, and we did his story. But today, we're going to do her story. And uh, this is an amazing book. Um, it's going to be on our book list for the Brightside Club recommendation for the holidays. I think all women are going to want to read this book, especially me. Um, it's a woman to woman uh, letters from wives to their mistresses. Uh, so it's a controversial book. And I'd like to warmly welcome uh, Leticia Jackson, who is an author and a women empowerment advocate. Um, so uh, welcome, 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 and uh, thank you so much for being on our broadcast. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Thank all of you for having me this morning. I really appreciate it. Um, as Elizabeth said, my name is Leticia Jackson. I am a women's empowerment advocate and the author of the recently released memoir, Woman to Woman, Letters from Wives to Mistresses. Uh, if you'll allow, I'd actually like to uh, begin by reading an excerpt from Woman to Woman. This is a real life letter that was submitted to me by a mistress um, for my book. This is in chapter five titled The Truth Behind the Lies. Uh, it says this again, real life letter from a mistress. It says to Monica, how I wish I could address this letter to you by your full name. I want you to know how good my life is with your husband. I couldn't care less about you or this author's attempt at bonding women. I don't feel bad or guilty. And just so you know, I'm not going anywhere. Your husband and I have been together for five years and we love each other. The only reason he hasn't divorced your ugly ass, excuse my language, I hope that's okay, is that he knows how spiteful you are. He is not willing to give up everything he has worked so hard for just to give it to you. I'm okay with that because if half his money goes to you, that means less money he has to spoil me with. And let me tell you, he spoils me well. Trips to Paris, shopping in Beverly Hills, the gorgeous house we make love in that he pays for, the car that I blow him in that he bought for me for our anniversary. I will never leave him and trust me, no matter what he tells you, he will never leave me. The problem with wives like you is you're not willing to do, to do all it takes to keep your husband interested, satisfied, and happy. You think once you get the ring that you no longer need to get down on your knees for him. You think because he said, I do, that you can just turn into a fat puddle of goo that blames your now 16, size 16 body on the kids who are almost teenagers. Then I come along and treat him the same way five years later that I did from day one. He gets peace with me, I don't nag him about why he comes home late. I don't care just as long as he comes home. And yes, home is with me. Her letter is a little bit longer, but I chose to begin with that letter because it really opens up the discussion about the role that we women can play in each other's lives. Uh, we can choose to bring women and families up or we can wreak havoc and choose to tear women and families apart. A woman to woman really begs the question, are you your sister's enemy? And the sad reality is the answer is yes, if you are knowingly sleeping with another woman's husband. Uh, the wives and mistresses that volunteered to write letters for my book were given the instruction to write their letter as if speaking either directly to the mistress of their husband or speaking directly to the wife of the husband the mistress was involved with. Um, I asked them to expose their rawest emotions to be as unfiltered as they wanted to. Um, and that's exactly what I got, as you can tell by the example uh, from that mistress. And that's just one of the letters. Um, I chose letters as a way for the women to speak in effect um, so that we could really begin this long overdue conversation uh, about this damaging and destructive behavior amongst us. 
I, I knew the letters would impact the wives uh, by helping them to finally being able to be able to externalize any feelings that they've been forced or shamed into keeping inside. Um, I knew that if they were able to finally let out uh, and get off with their chest with it, maybe they always wanted to say to the mistress that it would aid in healing them emotionally and mentally. And um, many of the wives, if not all of them, uh, let me know that that in fact did uh, aid in their healing. And I wanted the mistresses to have to read and reread their own words, especially if they were going to try to justify in some way why they would betray their womanhood um, you know, another woman and ultimately our sisterhood. Um, and even though some of them really still stuck to their initial feelings, their initial thoughts, no remorse, you know, for their actions, most of the mistress's own words actually had the effect that I hoped uh, that they would ask themselves, is that really who they want to be? Is that really what they want to contribute, not just to the world, but to this thing we call sisterhood? And I knew that those revelations for them would elicit empathy and compassion, change how they view themselves, of course, help them see just how valuable, how much more valuable they were worth than just being some man's uh, mistress, as well as evoke feelings of compassion for the sisters that they have betrayed and make no mistakes about it. It is a betrayal. But woman to woman is also based on my interaction with my, my uh, then husband's mistress. Uh, during our talk, she said to me, woman to woman, I just want you to know. Now I can't reveal fully what she said or the context under which she said those words because it really is an incredulous reveal in the book. You have got to read. Uh, what this woman said to me, you know, if you hear a woman say, you know, woman to woman, I just want you to know, especially with regards to this type of situation, you would expect um, those words maybe to be followed by words of sympathy, maybe some remorse. Um, but let me assure you, uh, her words could not have been further from that. And when you read it, you will know why her words were the catalyst for this necessary book. And those three words, woman to woman, are, are part of the reason for the title uh, of this book. Um, I can tell you though that I do say in the book that it may have been my husband who broke our vows. It may have been my husband who broke my trust and my spirit, but it was his mistress who broke my heart. The most common question I get about this book is, you know, what more really can be said about the topic of the mistress? Because it's as old as time. What more can be said about adultery? And um, for us ladies, actually quite a bit. And that's because generally the vast majority of talk about adultery has been focused on the husband. You know, why the man cheats or maybe even why the woman stays with a man who cheats. We have been so focused on the men that we have never ever dealt directly with this mistress topic head on and in a real way. Um, and to me, that's where both the problem and the solution lies. And that's why I wrote Woman to Woman for women only. You know, the mistresses of 2021 know what the mistresses of the past didn't. And that's that they have all the power in these relationships. And not only do they have the power, they know they have the power. And so since that perspective has changed, our perspectives have to change along with that. That's why it's no longer about a husband to wife betrayal. It is now about the woman to woman betrayal. And again, it is. A betrayal. And again, hence the title of the book, Woman to Woman. Now that we recognize that it's the mistresses who hold the power, my book really puts the pain, the destruction, the damage, sometimes irreparable damage, it puts it right in their faces. They can't ignore it, but be assured um, 
that I didn't write a book that was about, you know, calling the mistresses out of their names. You can't get anywhere with that. Um, I handled the mistresses in a way that caused um, USA Today bestselling author Keisha Ball, who wrote the foreword, to say that I handled the topic of the mistress with, with grace. I want to read quickly another uh, excerpt from Woman to Woman in chapter six. I say, our amazing gender will come together to defend one another's reproductive rights. We've seen a sharp increase of women standing together for the political empowerment of women. We help our sisters come out from the shadows of shame and guilt and embolden them with our support as they share their harrowing accounts of surviving sexual assault. We have national organizations whose primary focus is to end violence against women. We stop, we're stopping the body shaming that has led to far too many of us battling life-threatening eating disorders. We're the loudest voices in the anti-bullying campaigns. So you see, my dear sisters, we do care. We do have genuine love towards one another that can trump any instinctual inclination to betray one another. We stand in oneness to protect each other's rights. We will stand together to protect each other's children. But when it comes to a man, we forget to protect each other's hearts. You know, hypocrisy can unfortunately loom large in the female community. I mean, none of us wants to be cheated on, but then we don't mind being the one he cheats with. What is that? What are we doing? In 2021, when we need each other more than ever, why are we still dealing with this issue? And again, it's because we've never dealt with it from woman to woman. Now, despite my book's tone of taking the mistresses to task, the overall mission of my book really is to instill um, a key component that's missing from our sisterhood, and that's loyalty. My brand's motto, in fact, is loyalty is key. Now, I've gotten just a little bit of pushback um, on that. You know, of course, women will say we, we need to have more respect for one another, but loyalty to them seems to be a bit too much to be asking for from woman to woman. I disagree wholeheartedly. I mean, what is a sisterhood? Indeed, what is any relationship if loyalty is not a part of the dynamic? Now, loyalty doesn't mean that our sisterhood or, or each woman would come before any and every other relationship in our lives. It simply means that when it comes to things like girl code, remember that ladies, girl code, and devolving from those things that hurt us as a community that will stop and reconsider um, by thinking of the ramifications that it can have on us as a whole. One of my personal sayings is, I am my sister's keeper. And what I'm asking all of my sisters out there is, will you be mine? And what I need for you women to know before I start getting the angry emails again is that my book is not about letting the husband off the hook or lessening his responsibility in the affair. Of course not. But what this is about is changing the negative dynamic that exists in the female community that would cause us to want to hurt any woman in a way that we ourselves would not want to be hurt. Woman to woman is about us communicating our way to the point where men won't even have the opportunity to involve one of our sisters in an extramarital affair because we will have built up that loyalty to our sisterhood. And indeed, that would be a way for us to protect the sanctity of this thing we call sisterhood. And for the women who say that we don't owe each other anything, I respectfully submit that we at least owe each other better than this. I am starting a sisterhood revolution. I don't wanna be a trend. I don't wanna be a movement. I'm not trying to be a hashtag. I'm too old for all of that. What I am trying to do and am going to do is change these negative dynamics that we are passing now on to these younger girls who are to be the next generation of women. We can do better by each other and we have to. I hope each and every one of you will enjoy reading Woman to Woman Letters from Wives to Mistresses. Uh, you can either order it through my website if you like, leticiajackson.com. 
It's available digitally and in paperback on Amazon and barnesandnoble.com. And in honor of my precious grandmother, Marie Lake, who is living with um, dementia brought on by Alzheimer's, please know that a portion of each sale of Woman to Woman um, will go to helping to find a cure for Alzheimer's disease. Thank you all again so much for having me. And, let's, and sisters, let's do this. Let's get together. Let's make this right, woman to woman. <laughs>